Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Guess what we're doing today? Look right up there. We're going to ride the Sky Tower right here at SeaWorld. Let's go check it out. And we're entering into the Sky Tower, guys. Check this thing out. And then you, I, I, I'm gonna between. Wow, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm not gonna get up to so I'll give you a little information off. about this before like we go up. It's like a six minute it. ride. So it's two minutes up. No, when you get to the top, off. you rotate around for a couple minutes, then you come back down. Right now, there's not a lot to look at, except for some man. As soon as we get going, I'll turn it back on for you guys. Let's see if we, let's see what, I've never been on this. I cannot wait to experience it with everybody on Meddling World. Take a minute, subscribe if you can. Wow, oh, guys, look at this. Here we go. I'm actually gonna need my sunglasses. For your own safety, please stay in your seats for the entire ride and no smoking. Also, I really have to stay in my seat. I don't want to. Now, I'm really looking forward to see if we can find any cool landmarks, man. Let's take a look, guys. None of this nice will be possible shot of the roller coasters here at Sea World. Partner agencies, park guests like you, as well as people across the globe taking action to protect these amazing animals <laughs> and their families. <laughs> Our teams are on call oh, 24-7, 365 days a year. Partner yeah. Yeah. You guys can see the new roller coaster there, the icebreaker going around. There it goes. Well, we're just about 300 feet You guys can see that parking lot, how busy it is. As the cabin rotates, keep an eye open for a lush, <laughs> tropical oasis right across the street from SeaWorld. That's Discovery Cove, where you can snorkel with rays and exotic fish, relax on a beautiful beach, and even swim alongside dolphins. Thank you. On, on to the top. To the east, also across the street from SeaWorld, you'll find Aquatica. Our water park hosts the most water slides in Orlando. Right this amazing park has been voted the number one outdoor park. This downtown Orlando right over there, guys. Our eyes are over there. To see how you can experience Discovery Cove and Aquatica. There's the airport straight ahead. See the tower. Actually, the plane. I'm looking to see if I can find like Epcot. Ball or anything like that, but I can't see. A little hazy. And then the seven seas. So what it is is when you get to the top, it kind of does a couple of rotations just so you guys can really look out there and enjoy it. It's pretty cool. It's nice. It is really sunny though, and it's a little bit warm in here, I think, just because of the sun. I think over there is that looks like the Icon Park, Roberta. Yeah, you can see it over. Yeah, oh, there's the wheel right there. Okay. Oh, the Ferris wheel. Yeah. I see it. You see it? Well, yeah. I see Icon Park. I mean, we're heading back down. We can see the the boats, the flamingo boats there, the paddle boats. I believe they are. Our mission is to see it here. So cool. As soon as we get back outside, guys, I'll give you all the details, the pricing, um, how long the queue took, all that information. But just wanted to bring you on. This is this is just opened. I, it might have been, might be today, as a matter of fact, because I've been here several times. You know, within the past couple of weeks, and it was not open, but it was in operation with nobody on it. To find more information on any of our award-winning events, guided tours, 
Education. What'd you guys think, Roberta? It's cool. Uh, Jake got a bit dizzy. Yeah, it's a little bit dizzy, but not too bad, I wouldn't say. But it's cool. It's yeah. So, it's, it's gorgeous. Especially nice today. It's nice yeah, it's day clear. Out, yeah. We hope that you have enjoyed your ride oh, aboard the Sea World Skytower. Yeah, be sure to check your seats for any more than one ship as you exit the cabin. All right, guys, I'm going to shut you off the camera now. We're going to come out, and then I'll give you all the information in about vlog time. Roberta, what's that? Two seconds. That's right. Ah, that was fun, Roberta, Jake. Yeah. Just want to show you guys. This is the queue where you go in, okay? So we were right at that window where this uh, cast member is. Or, I think they're called team members here at uh, SeaWorld. And it took about, Roberta, 12 minutes. It was two two sessions at six minutes each. We went to the third one, yeah. So, um, you know, all in all, about 20 minutes or so. Sorry, I had to do a little cutoff there, guys, because we ran into a bunch of traffic. People just hanging out and having fun. It's busy in here. But listen. Let me break down the pricing. <clears throat> okay, so if you are a pass holder and you have a platinum, a gold, or a silver pass, you can ride that for free. It's all included. If you have a bronze pass, or if you're just in on a day ticket, it's only $5 per person. Um, I am trying to process whether I think it'd be worth $5 per person. I would say no. I would say if you're here with four people and you spent twenty dollars to do that, I would probably say, you know, if you really want to do it, cool. If you're here and you're just enjoying, yes. But I think if you didn't want to think about, man, that cost me twenty bucks, <laughs> right? But still cool. Like if you want to do it, do it. I, I would say if it was me, I would. But it was fun. We. You know, you spin around. Jake got a little bit of motion sickness. Yeah, me too. A little I bit. got a little dizzy, but guys, nothing that is like, oh, I can't take it. You know, it was really cool to be able to look out there and see everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was so much fun. Now we're heading over because, first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day. Recording it as video today, March 17th. We're heading over to the Seven Seas Ireland. Um kiosk because we want to see what's going on for st patrick's day let's get over there and maybe have a snack or two so here we are ireland guys looks like they got a nice little wall there for some pictures they got the ireland market let's take a walk around oh i see some of the stilt walkers ah those green beverages there definitely would say probably alcoholic beverages but it's st patrick's day guys get your green beers if you like them maybe i'll get a ginger ale and put some food coloring in it but yeah you can see here the island market all decorated for st patrick's day looks like right through this area they have a little bit of a party going on which is pretty nice the stilt walkers there see some green oh they got a little dance performance going on there guys <laughs> see? pretty cool it kind of remind me guys we we're here back for the Mardi Gras festival they had a little pop-up festival very similar to this little bit of entertainment not over the top but festive enough that everybody's Irish today right maybe we can get a couple snacks Roberta and Jake you guys want to try a couple snacks yeah. Yeah, let's see. yeah let's do it look what we got this looks like we have what is this Roberta some corned beef yeah and some of those nice fingerling potatoes and some cornbread this is actually a Reuben um, egg roll so we're gonna try these guys all right guys it might be a little sun glare there sorry but listen we just finished up our st. Patrick's Day snacks here at the seven seas food festival and I'm, I'm gonna say they were just average to me uh, 
The Cuban egg roll was not that good. Very soggy on the outside. Uh, not too good. I'm gonna give that a. I'm gonna give it a five. It was not that good at all. Nice well, Roberta, what's that? You're being nice with a five. What'd you think, Roberta? Oh, that's a two for me. I just wow. Don't like that at all. Roberta gives it a two. Uh, now the corned beef with the fingerling potatoes and cabbage. Oh, I'll say that was good. That was a, a good average uh, score for me. Not nothing totally out of the world. Nothing bad. Good flavor with the meat. Tender. Uh, the potatoes were just fine. I'll give it an average seven. Jake, what'd you think of the corned beef with the potatoes and cabbage? I didn't taste the cabbage. The corned beef is like a de it's a decent seven. And decent the, seven. And the potatoes taste like regular potatoes. <laughs> so it looks like if you had to pick, you'd go with the corned beef. Stay away from that, Reuben, guys. Not too good. And if you do remember last time, if you watched our vlog, we'll drop a link. Uh, we had the um, shepherd's pie there, which also was not that good. So eh, it's St. Patrick's Day. We'll cut them a little slack, guys, right? It's St. Patrick's Day. But uh, not the greatest. Okay, so we're thinking about maybe going on this today. Let's see. I don't see water coming down. I think that... I I, think we I've been on this ride. I always thought there was water that came down the the slide there, Roberta. Yeah, on the track. Definitely water down here. Let's see if this thing's working properly. Here they come. Let's see, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's working. As you can see, we are all still dry. You want to know why? <laughs> Broke the the ride closes at five it's 5 30 so all those people coming down were already in the queue which brings me to another point here today i've noticed the sky tower we uh that we went on that closed at five the we wanted to go over to those uh pink flamingo boats because we've never tried them we and we noticed that right going around the thing oh that looks fun we went over there oh no closes at five just decided as you guys saw to go on that right now close at five now the park is open Roberta to what time tonight 9, 9 p.m. so I'm the only thing I can think is uh, staff staff sh uh, shortage probably do not have enough staff here to be able to accommodate all the rides but that is a bit disappointing uh, when you come to a major theme park like this, this is a school vacation. Yeah, this is a school vacation. A school vacation yeah. and, and now we're getting, Roberta, let's oh, be honest, vacation. we're getting into the, the time of the year where people are going to start coming. Probably, March yeah. and April, May, early May slows down. Yeah. And then, yeah. point being, a little disappointed here, but we do understand why. Ah, now's our time to thank everybody who's bought us a coffee. Thank you so much for helping support Meddling World. Check the links of the video if you would like to buy us a coffee, guys. And believe me, it really, really helps us. Helps us be able to get out here and bring all this awesome content to you. So once again, thank you to everybody who has bought us a coffee. Roberta, what'd you get? Uh, peppermint mocha latte. And I got a sugar-free vanilla latte latte iced so we're kind of making our way towards the exit guys and i did want to show you just a little walk through here of some of the merch this is located actually to the left well it'd be to the right of the seafire grill right here just kind of give you a little walk in here guys check out some of the cool merch they have some really nice stuff actually i'm not going to get into big detail but just kind of show you some of the nice things really really cool just to give you an example 54.99 for that and the cup wow really neat they have these cool wine racks the motorcycle one well that's definitely not for the motorcycle one but if you wanted a looks like a jellyfish bin <laughs> it's 12 dollars this is cool 
And all these here, look at this, guys. Let's see if I can get a price on something. This guy looks pretty neat, huh? Let's see if we can get a, find a price tag somewhere. Okay, here's a bigger one. This one's got a tag on it. Looks like it can hold a couple bottles. Actually, it's not bad. It's only $60. Not a bad deal. It's pretty neat, right? Here's a smaller one. $35. Ah, the merch here is not too expensive. And those were pretty neat. It's like a, a work of art, right? So it's not just SeaWorld merch. Although, definitely have their share of SeaWorld, SeaWorld merch here, as you can see. I like this one. That octopus, $35. So you can get a wine rack for the same price as a SeaWorld. But this is really cool, man. I love the colors of it. Oh, look there. Awesome. Just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit as we walk through. We're kind of getting ready to head out. Um, we had a great day here. Did you enjoy the Sky Tower tour today? That was so fun. Some more just little, like, I guess you could say these are paperweights, but this cool pieces of art, $12.95. One cool thing too about SeaWorld, just to let you know, even if you came here for, if you, if you came here more than a, a, a few times, it's almost, <laughs> better off getting a annual pass because different tiers of the passes they have different percentages off retail and it works for almost all of the retail this is the guy harvey collection all kinds of cool paintings guys 600 for the manatees that one's awesome i really like that I, ooh, i'd love to get that a little out of my price range though this whole area here a lot of guy harvey so really cool and then he's got the small prints here too let's see just to show you everybody loves merch i think 26 there so some of the some of the discounts offer up to almost uh, i think the top uh pass the platinum pass i believe is 50 percent off isn't it roberta if i remember 50 percent off merchandise yeah i said it includes most like roberta said it might not be everything but it includes mostly all the merch so just ask you know just ask or refer to the website just a few more paintings here to show you guys as i was just talking about there's a little reflection here but you can see any of the guy harvey that's a hundred or more will not qualify for the past member discount but remember those prints i showed you that were i think over 30 dollars or something there you go actually let's go back and take a look oh not even they were 25 so there you go you can get your discount there and if you have the highest tiered discount <laughs> you're gonna pay like 12 bucks that's what i was saying is not a bad deal even if you're coming with several if you have several family members if one person has the annual pass they can just come in and you don't have to get it for everybody so if you're planning on coming and spending some money definitely worth having so guys thank you so much again for watching medlin world we had a fun day with you don't forget our cruise coming up april 22nd right out of port canaveral on royal caribbean's independence of the sea can't wait to bring that to you guys we're going to vlog it all we're going to show you everything we do on that ship please take a moment also subscribe to meddling world if you have not yet and if you enjoyed this video we love our subs we're very grateful for our subs and last but not least see ya